Hello. The video you are about to see contains images of dolls only. Hello, Hello everybody. Everyone. We're back. We're back. We're back. Did you miss us? No, of course you didn't. Oh. Got loads of other fantastic <laughs> channels to watch while we were away. Yes. <laughs> Well, I trust that we are now refreshed, rejuvenated, and re-everything. Re-energized? Re-energized. I was just trying to recharge, was the word. Recharged. Recharged. Yeah. Re-energized. Yes. Um, what's that? Where's that? I'm just trying to think. Oh, I know what it was. Gigi. Do you remember Gigi when he said, I was rebuffed, rejected, repudiated, and re-something? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's such a good film. Oh, it's a brilliant film. We'll have to, we haven't gone yet at the time of the call. We'll have to watch it while we're away. We definitely will. Yes, I'd like that. Yes. That would be really good. Right. Put that on the bucket list of things we All to right. do. Thank heaven <laughs> for little girls. Oh, now that's like a song I could definitely do without. Really, I could. Uh, anyway. We we have got Bert with us, and when you're seeing this, we're actually back. So, just to confuse you, we're back, but we haven't gone yet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You'll meet yourself coming backwards. Yeah, I know. I'll meet myself coming back. Come up behind myself. That's what I'll do. I'll come up behind myself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, Mr. B, yes. the floor is yours. Well, thank you very much. Okay, so I've been through all the videos over the last week or so, and I'm, I've picked a few out, a few comments that have come in. Thank you very much, as always. Now, I was hoping to say that video of the week, the video that's had the most views, would have been Lacey on Saturday. Well, there's a big surprise. Yeah. Oh, oh, I think I'm going to have a heart attack and die from that surprise. <laughs> <laughs> now, which movie is that from? I wouldn't know. Well, you should. Well, I don't. We do Disney Monday every week, and if you don't know you're Aladdin by now, you're disqualified. Leave the stage. I, I will leave the stage. <laughs> I will not be part of Disney Monday anymore. <laughs> oh, no, Mr. B. Oh. We love you, really. We do. <laughs> now, that's, uh, that's Iago from Aladdin. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, video of the week uh, was definitely Strawberry Moon's Reborn Dad and I, our new nursery and a massive hall. Oh, wow. Now, lots Lots and lots of people watched that one and uh, they really liked it. Uh, but um, dress of the week was Brooks from Wednesday, particularly. Everybody absolutely loved the dress. Oh, cool. So that's that's great. And while we're on things of the week, before I get onto the real comments, we've got bracelet of the week. Yeah, this is a kooky feature. But I thought I might as well go on with it just <laughs> until I run out of bracelets. Okay. Uh, well, interesting bracelet. I've got loads of bracelets, but this is an interesting bracelet with a story behind it. Here it is. Look at the serious bling power of Samantha the Panther. Now, it is said that the Panther bracelet was made popular by a certain notorious lady by the name of Simpson, who you might or might not have heard of. Um, Mrs. Simpson caused our British King Edward VIII to abdicate because the stuffy establishment royal, uh, royals of the time would not allow him to marry A, a divorced woman, and B, an American who they didn't like. Um, the story very much in brief and with my slant on it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Of course, uh, a good few years later they had to eat their words because our dear Prince Charles, of course, married Camilla Parker Bowles, who was divorced. She wasn't American, but she was divorced. Anyway, um, Edward VIII bought a zillion jewels for Mrs. Simpson, Mrs. Simpson, and one of the things he bought her was a panther bracelet. So the panther bracelet was made by Cartier's, as I remember, and was made very popular. Um, Cartier's made lots of copies of it. Of it. And so cat bracelets, panther bracelets, leopard bracelets, um, became very, very popular and they are still around to this day. This is a fashion piece. It's not real. <laughs> um, and it has um, at the top of it, um, the cat's head here, which you can see. And I think it has, it, it's covered in, in, in crystals. They're just cubic zirconia crystals and it's gold plated. And it has emerald green eyes, as, as far as I can remember, and cute little catty ears. And then the body of it goes down and winds around my wrist 
to the back and then coming halfway around this wrist you can see the crystals start again and there's the end of its tail so it's a cute piece and I like it. it's very heavy I don't wear it very often because it is a big heavy chunky piece and I only usually wear it when I'm wearing my cocktail dresses but the reason I do like it so very much is because it was given to me by a very dear friend one year for Christmas and this particular friend is quite quite young and he never quite knows what to get me and he said what would you really really like and I said well if I give you a link to some things on Amazon that I'd like uh, all in a certain price range um, you can choose so one of the things that was within the ceiling the, the budget that he sent me was this and this is what he bought me and we named it Samantha the Panther from a song I used to like when I was a little oh, girl. Oh, that's a good one. Yes, yeah. you know it, don't you? Yes, I do. <laughs> Maybe that will be a song. We'll come back to songs later oh, on. Oh, that's rather a good idea. I, I thought of that. That's a good idea, And I actually Dave. thought of mixing colours as well. Yes. Anyway, um, that is the story of Samantha the Panther and the Panther bracelet at large, and that's my bracelet of the week. Mm. Now we can do comments. Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> uh, so back to the massive hall. Uh, Linda Hender... She says, what a fantastic haul and such a joy to see those beautiful outfits coming out of the bag. Uh, the shelves work so well and show us each uh, show each baby off in their own little room. It's very exciting now to see their little faces peeping out and all wondering who is going to be picked out for a cuddle. Ah, oh. it's made such a difference to the karma of the room. Um, it really does feel very different when I come in here because Bert who's actually sitting on my lap for anyone who can't see this um, has always been in here with me and Lacey and Alfie and Brooke um, and so that always makes for a nice karma to the room but actually being able to come in here in the morning and say morning babies and know that everybody's in here except the Twinkies is just totally the most wonderful thing ever and I just totally love it yes it's it wonderful. has been a real success hasn't it, it really has it's been wonderful uh, nicole says uh, in respect of that video uh, thank you for ending my day on such a sweet note oh uh, now lacy's video from saturday lots of people are saying that they want to see her again and hear her talk that was the first one really yes. wasn't it where we it, did that it was the first one it was technically the most difficult thing we've ever attempted technically making her talk audially is just a stroll in the park but it was just so much fun to be able to do it fairly spontaneously um and have her with us on video it was just a wonderful thing so we will do our very best to bring her back and anyway i want you all to see her new dress oh absolutely so she'll be coming back on saturday i'm sure about that uh yes it, it wasn't uh, the easiest thing but i know what i'm doing now <laughs> so it should be a lot quicker next time and thank you for your patience and not giving up when it looked hopeless and just your total unflappability oh we got there in the end we didn't did we? we did yes we did and i have i have to say i have enormous respect a lot more respect i've always had respect for people like for example um oh goodness what's her name i couldn't give her name i uh, love my reborn babies and flower patch nursery and all the people who've had child dolls and made them talk uh, i've always had enormous respect for them because i knew that it must take hours and hours and hours mm -hmm. um but even more now, because I just know how long it takes. To I edit. think from our point of view, just quickly on this, it's even harder for me as the editor because I cannot see the visual uh, imagery which is going on and I still have to sync the audio with the visuals. Yes. Um, that's the challenge. But, oh, very much so. You know. And we are perfectionists. We don't like to just leave it and hope. No. But, we can't ever do that but uh much better next time anyway mm -hmm. but uh there we go lots of people like that um including alex uh who is commenting on quite a few of our videos lately absolutely so Lovely thank you very you. much indeed thank you um kylie ann she wrote in and she said i wish i could like Lacey's video a million times over. Oh. oh. <laughs> well kylie ann you know has a burton lacy playlist that she has 
on every night before she goes to sleep. I happen to know this, A, because she's told us, but B, because I actually found it really? um, the other night. Oh, wow. I, I was just looking because there are some naughty people who take videos from YouTube and turn them into MP3 downloads. Um, and I was just Googling to make sure that um, the new Lacey videos weren't being used in this way. And I came across Kylie Ann's playlist and I thought, who on earth is making a video of, of Lacey stuff when there's already one? Um, but then I realised it was Kylie Ann and I, was, I thought, ah, oh, I know it's why. It's perfectly all right. Well, it's perfectly all right. Yes. Anyone can make a playlist of anything. Yes. Okay, so we're on to Disney Monday now. Mm -hmm. And uh, Linda says, oh, you two do make me laugh. Mr. B, you do say some funny things. <laughs> <laughs> well, I get, you get no argument from me. Uh, and I do love to hear you, you singing as well. Aww. And uh, uh, she used to work for Walt Disney, you know. And uh, she says that she was working on Roger Rabbit. And back in the early days of working with another studio, I was taken out to lunch with Chuck Jones. He was the creator of Bugs Bunny, etc. Chuck spent the whole meal uh, drawing his amazing cartoons on napkins, explaining his first ideas of what the rabbit should look like. And the napkins, they were left for the waiters and waitresses to take home with them. Uh, I love Disney Monday, she says. Lots of hugs to you all. How incredibly amazing is that? I know. Yeah, we love Disney Monday too. It's probably one of our favourite days. Was he eating any carrots, Linda? <laughs> <laughs> I, I love Bugs Bunny and, and Daffy Duck and all those, as, as I think we've said. And, and I think one of the things I most would have loved would have been to meet the, the voice man, Mel Blanc, who did all the voices yes. for, for Daffy and Bugs and uh, Roadrunner and speedy and all those people and in fact i said to linda in the reply to that comment that um the way that warner brothers speeded up mal blank's voice slightly for people like daffy duck and porky pig and those is actually what kind of gave us our ideas about making the voices for bert and lacy and people like them um because that <clears throat> slightly speeded up but not too much speeded up voice can be quite readily understood and it does give um, an oddly otherworldly uh, sometimes cartoony effect you know so it's very nice to use when you want to portray a magical creature or a fairy creature fantasy creature so yeah i learned a lot from mel blanc one way or another mm. they said he was a man of a thousand voices well, he was but it was actually 400 <laughs> yes i did a documentary about uh, partly about mel yes blanc. i remember it remember that i remember yeah. it i yes. do lovely documentary say hello to joanne Absolutely. Who has just got her first reborn. Oh, how wonderful. She bought it online. Mm -hmm. So that was great. Um, uh, Nicole is talking about Toy Story 3. Mm -hmm. And uh, she said it was kind of dark in places, but I got the sense that it was meant for the kids who loved the first two movies and were young adults by the time that they uh, actually got around to watching the third one. Um, so they could have a somewhat more mature storyline. Mm. I was initially not super impressed by the storyline of Brave, uh, then found it myself found myself in tears at the end, and uh, she uh, really appreciated cartoons like the ones you mentioned. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, I I did quite. I loved the end of Toy Story three. But there were places in the in the middle where I I did I didn't like its darkness. Of course, you know it addressed some great issues and things, but I didn't like its darkness. And the actual antihero really scared me. Um, and I I did find Brave actually quite boring in places, and very Disney and very silly. Mm. So no, it wasn't one of my favourites. <laughs> Alex confesses that uh, when she was younger, she didn't really appreciate cartoons very much. I was the same, actually, uh, as I think I said last time. Um, but uh, now uh, she thinks she might get back into her childhood again because <laughs> they're much more readily uh, available and accessible. Oh, they? definitely. Yes. Definitely. They are hard to find. I was actually 
looking at them on YouTube the other night because I was trying to find one I liked. It was in a compilation. And they are very hard to follow if there's no description and you can't see. Mm. Very hard to follow. Nana's been back in touch. Oh, wonderful, Nana. And she says, don't forget Marvin the Martian. Do you know I had completely forgotten Marvin the Martian? I haven't seen a Marvin the Martian cartoon forever and ever, and I will have to remedy that. Ah, right, okay. Well, that's uh, something on your list perhaps to do this week. Mm -hmm. uh, Julie Wilkins, she says, Alfie looked very cute in his Simba outfit. Well, Alfie looks cute in everything, but I loved him in that outfit. Just <laughs> absolutely wonderful. Amanda uh, not only wants a chocolate egg, but uh, she says, uh, do give Bert's sweet head a kiss for me oh. <laughs> there you are there you are kiss from auntie uh, amanda that's right <laughs> uh, mary has been in contact and uh, she says uh, was wednesday the day when you had to go away mr b and how did it go well actually um there were two trips away this week and uh, they kind of went okay yes but uh, thank you very much for asking um and she also asks you whether you're looking forward to Lake coming to live with us. We are. Uh, I am looking forward to Lake coming. It's it's a strange one, this, you know, because Lake is not my baby. No. Lake is Brian's baby. From the actual beginning, from the idea of her to what she looks like, to her name, to almost everything about her. Usually when we have a new baby, it's all my planning. And I ask B's, Mr. B's support and advice about everything, and we agree on it. I would never do anything he didn't want. But Lake wasn't my idea. Lake was B's idea. So you will have to tell me, everybody, whether I've struck gold or not. So he will get to hold the baby first. And then I will get, usually it's me that gets to hold mm. the baby first, and I hand her over to Daddy. This time, Daddy will get to hold the baby first, and then I get to see her. So it feels very odd. I feel kind of slightly detached from the whole thing. Oh, dear. Yeah. Well, no, not in a bad way, but I get, I get to, I get to meet her, you know, afterwards. Mm. She's she's going to be your girl. Well, I and hope. I think it's a lovely experiment. It's a great great thing to do. Well, let's see. It's something it we've never done before. Yes. So not long to go now before no, you just, you see just, her. Just over a week or a so. bit more than a week. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Melanie, it's uh, Melanie in the sparrow's nest, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, Brooke is absolutely stunning in pink. What a gorgeous dress! Uh, I absolutely love the embroidery along the hem and darlene is so itty bitty next to brooke oh she is <laughs> she certainly is yes <laughs> uh saying hello to martha i don't recall seeing you before no i don't think i've seen you before and uh she's asking about the bottle sounds well how we do those well that's just a little bit of a you know a little, a bit, little of bit of magic a trade secret a little bit of say. magic <laughs> yes and um people really love you singing and uh, quite a few people did say that and um can you take requests yes i can take requests within reason there we go i mean there are there are things that won't sound right unaccompanied um but yeah uh if i can i won't promise but i might I'll, i might try and finally real born wonders that's the name presumably of a, a, channel, a channel that's uh, um, sent in a comment and um, they said that the channel in other words strawberry moon reborns is so peaceful oh well thank you very much for that and for all the lovely comments say. thank you very much so much to everybody who's taken the time this week and who does every week to send us such lovely comments we're getting more comments all the time and i do my very best to answer each and every one of them um it's very very kind of you i should say that if you're commenting in a foreign language uh i can't answer those it's just not possible i can't get them tra to translate properly and i can't translate an answer it just doesn't work so please try and comment in english i'd be very grateful <laughs> um 
but apart from that, every comment I get that I possibly can answer, I really will do my best to do so. And we really do appreciate it so very much. And I will do my best to pick out another selection for next week. Yeah, absolutely. We're counting on you, Mr. B. Well, I will try. <laughs> I will try. If uh, people say interesting things, which they often do, yeah. there's always uh, a lot of material to choose from. Absolutely. Um, I will be back next week with another comment yeah. round. And also, we have a lot of new subscribers again this week. So welcome along to you all. Thank you so much for finding us. And I do hope that you're going to stay. And that, unfortunately, brings us to the end of a rather foreshortened week. I know. Now, we are still waiting for a baby apart from Little Lake. And I'm really, really hoping that you will see her next week. No promises, because she's already been too late already. Mm. So, I'm not promising. We'll but see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Hoping, hoping, hoping. But we will be here. But we will be here, and all the babies will be here. And we will start tomorrow, hopefully, with another week's videos. So in the meantime, we'll love you and leave you. Again, thank you so much for subscribing and commenting and sharing and liking. And till we see you again, let's, let's be, be good, good to each, each other. other. Bye. Bye.